Okay, uh, good nerve Shabbos, everybody. It's been a wonderful, busy week, which is always good. I'm thankful for that. And that makes me even more thankful for a very special Shabbos, Shabbos Zohar. We have, uh, uh, what's that called? Yoitrus. What could be better than saying Yoitrus? You know, I don't, I don't know why people, like, they hate Yoitrus so much or they don't even know about it and they're like, ah, but then, you know, not a yekka. You know, to me, I'm like, uh, I say Yoitrus because ah, I'm not a Lubavitcher, you know, <laughs> and I'm not a Gerer. But <coughs> I know um, in our school we don't really say Yoitrus, but I say it myself. Uh, but I know uh, our Rav looks up to Sullivan County, probably from all the Rabbonim in Sullivan County, who does Rabbi Fishbane look up to as someone who's, you know, obviously younger than him, <coughs> is, <coughs> is Rav Yitzchak Lebovich, the Woodridge Rabbi, Woodridge Rav, and one of, uh, one of the Bachram who lived there in Woodridge told me that Rav Yitzchak, he, uh, when it comes to Yoitzris, that's when he gets excited. A whole year, he's looking forward to Yoitzris. And, you know, I mean, I'm an enical from Chavis Yor. Chavis Yor has a, the last tshuva that, it, that's printed in Chavis Yor is about Yoitzris. And, uh, you know, a lot of the tzaddikim talk about how important it is to say Yoitzris. And it seems... You know, I've learned the, the tshuva, but I, it didn't get into my head. It's a difficult tshuva. Uh, but the general Chavis is a difficult safer to learn. But um, because he uses a lot of poetic language, and he, you know, he, he, he is more... It's, uh, it's almost like the types of things I talk about here. You know, somebody asks me a question, and I go off on all kinds of tangents, and, and it's, it's a very beautiful safer. I mean, I found the... The Korachayim that he wrote to be incredible because I have the Chutashani and the and the Chavasior and the um, and and the Korachayim and Korachayim. Oh wow, the sweetest of the sweet. And you gotta, you gotta learn the safer. It's so amazing. It is so beautiful. The types of things that the, that the Chavis Yor teaches there. Um, I mean, again, this is before the Hasidic movement began, and it has a Hasidic varmkeit there that you know convinces me that the classical Ashkenaz. You know, the derech of Hasidus is the derech of classical Ashkenaz before the Shabbat Svi debacle. Meaning, that problem of Shabbat Svi, you know, um, really damaged Yiddishkeit and Derech the Baal Shem Tov was a restore, was a restoration, was a revival movement. It wasn't something new. And the thing with the Samarov says, he's like, if you really want to know what Hasidus is all about, forget even about Kabbalah. Look at the Chavis Levavis. He said 90% of Hasidus is in the Chavis Levavis. So, which was already Risha. You know, so when people are like, oh, the Chassidish, this is some new age, you know. No, it's, it's, it's the classical, old-fashioned, and, and, this, and, you know, it's, it's the original way, and it's just that, you know, things got lost in the way because, unfortunately, bad things happened. You know, people talk about, you know, they theorize about 
<coughs> what the Chavos Yorah felt about Shabtai Tzvi, because he lived during that epic, and he was very, his his library proves that he was very fascinated by this. He was very interested in this question. Was he actually a devotee of Shabtai Tzvi? I don't think so. I mean, there were great Rabbanim who were, um, is what people say, I question that, you know, I, I'm skeptical. I think he was someone who was definitely interested in everything, everything. And so, <coughs> I, 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 just my heart tells me from what I read about this issue and so forth, is that he was probably skeptical but hopeful. And it was probably, you know, a fascination that didn't necessarily mean this is, you know, a devotion. I think he was a very open-minded person, but had this healthy skepticism, I'm thinking. You know, I don't think he was like a chosen of Shabbat speakers for sure. You know, I think he was, you know, interested in reading the news, you know, the same. People are interested to hear about the Meshachis Lubavitchers, interested to hear about Zionism, interested to hear about uh, space, uh, you know, hell brands and things, you know, all these weird things that are in the Jewish world. There's a certain fascination that we have, naturally, with things that are out of the ordinary. And I think, you know, certainly there was a uh, fascination there that was not necessarily a devotion but also not necessarily a condemnation as what my theory is my humble opinion my heart tells me there about you know I mean I, I guess I care about this a lot because I do have a very strong devotion to my ancestor the Chavos Yoyer <coughs> he's someone who means a lot to me over the past few years when I discovered him as an ancestor, I've been learning it, and now that they reprinted the Karchaim, and I wish that maybe someday they would print the Yehir Nutsiv, which had never been printed as far as I know. I mean, I see quotes here and there from it. It's, it's incredible. It's an incredible, incredible work. Um, so, there was a, an author in Germany who wrote the biography of the Chavos Yoyer, uh, David Kaufman, I think his name, and it was translated to English. You know, I asked my wife, because she knows German pretty well, maybe we could sit down and, and learn it together, and then I found the English. Uh, it's on archive.org. It's, it's quite incredible. Um, and he, you know, Kaufman says that he thinks, yeah, or was unfortunately a devotee of the Shabtai Tzvi. I, I don't, I, I, I don't want to believe that, you know. And so I, I, I and, and I don't think the evidence that he brings is conclusive enough to make a statement like that. Um, I mean, obviously, once it, the whole thing fell apart, obviously he wasn't anymore. But meaning, while it was going on, did he maybe get swept up? I mean, maybe. You know, but uh, again, I think it was a fascination with a healthy skepticism and, and hope as well, and healthy hope that you know. But you know, we did learn the lesson from that. But it's it's not necessarily the lesson that Kabbalah is bad, you know. And and, and certainly, you know, when we look at someone like the Chavos who writes about how Kabbalah is not for everybody, but then says the Zohar is for everybody. You know, most of what we think about Kabbalah, we think about the Zohar. So, you know, you got to understand where things are coming from and so forth and what this is all about. You know, but he, he, he was an educated, intelligent man, a worldly man, who was also very spiritual and very brilliant, you know. Um, and then after, and, and he was a heart Zagid. I mean, that's what really impressed me in him. Printed right after that tshuva, 
I think it's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Rage Mom and the Pets in the Chavis Yor, the last Shuva in the Chavis Yor. Then he has a whole contrast of poetry, of Smiras for Shabbos and for Hanukkah, of, and from Lava Malka, and Techinus and, and Slichas and Kinnus and all, and all kinds of things that, first of all, is highly Kabbalistic but also beautifully poetic and brilliant. And he says that, you know, anybody who engages in the devotion of these songs won't find it to be a vain pursuit. So, you know, that's the... connection, you know, that I really love. I mean, I, I try every Shabbos since I discovered this. Every Shabbos, we sing the mirrors from the Chabbos Yor, or at least read them quickly, you know. I printed them out, and I keep them in my venture, and then I try once a Shabbos to also say those, those I don't always get to. But it's just, oh, the sweetest of the sweet. It's beautiful stuff. And, you know, when it comes out at the end of what it seems, which is the general maskona, and which is the most common minog of those who do say piyutim, yoytzrus is um, only, if you're going to say them liturgically, is only those that are recited in the in the Chesaris Hashats, because the Chesaris Hashats is not repetition of, of the, by the, of the Shmanasri, of the Midah, those are the ones that are appropriate to say, but the ones that are actually technically Yotzros, the ones from uh, the uh, from, from the Brachas of Shema, those should be omitted, uh, at least liturgically, you want to say them as mirrors during the Suda, it's fine. And so that's why I generally follow the minute of the Samarov, um, which is a general Hungarian minute of, of, of like the Chavos Yor says, except the big Yotz there, um, he would not say the ones from generally, depends on what, when, and where, but generally he didn't even say as near as the ones from Birkus Kriyashma, sometimes the ones from Marev, uh, would say as near as, um, Anyantiv, those are only Anyantiv, not on Dalek uh, But the, the ones in the Chazar Sashats, uh, he would say, uh, except the big one, which he would leave as uh, a Zemmer for Shabbos Suda of the day. Except on Parsha Sochor, which I usually, I usually still do that on Parsha Sochor. I usually will have that as the, as my thing for the Suda. Um, even though that's not what Samarov did, I don't have to be a monkey and follow everything that Tzaddik did just because my kids go to a school that has his name on it. <coughs> you know, and that's not what he wanted anyway. Um, you know, Lassus would say Tzaddik, you know, that's, that's, uh, he didn't, he didn't want people to ape him, but, you know, but I, I, I say the Yerchus just because I find them to be so inspiring and beautiful, I mean, the art scroll has them in English, look at them, they are beautiful, beautiful stuff, really incredible, uplifting, it's a, it's a highlight of the year to say these things and so many people don't even know about it. Um, let alone say them. And let alone say them, if you're not going to say them liturgically, you know, for example, the, the Vilner Gohn held 
that it's a hefsek, but the Vilna Gon also had a nusach of the, he, he was medayak in the nusach of the yaitzvah. It's not like he totally ignored the yaitzvah. He said all the yaitzvah in, in the Shabbos suit as, as spirits. And so, you know, this whole thing that people make it like, well, you don't have to say yaitzvah, it, 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 it was a big mistake, you know. I mean, I, we see the outcome of that. It's that like, since people stop saying them liturgically, they just stop saying them all together, and that's that's definitely wrong for an Ashkenazi Jew, and even for a Sephardi Jew. You want to find, you know, the Sephardim love their putim, and you know, uh, the Ariya Kadosh said that these putim were written through Racha Kodesh. So again, it's it's an interruption in the in the liturgy. I understand if that's your pasach, but say them as putim during the suda, during the sida. That's that's you know, and um, I mean, there's the ones the Ahava and the Gaula from Sphira. I mean, those are, I know, uh, they told the Saren, they print them in the, for, for, the, for the Sudas. Oh, wow, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Those are really nice. Those are just incredible stuff. And uh, it's only the Yekas that say them, and, like, they're so inspirational. You know, and that was the funny thing. When I was up in Richmond, you know, the guys used to say, well, you know, we're yekas, we're yekas. So it's like, all right, so then we're going to say all the yaitzras if you're yekas. All right, so we don't have to say all the yaitzras. We'll say the, we'll say the yaitzras that are printed in the art scroll. We don't have to say it everything. <laughs> you know, uh, that's the real, uh, oh, we're not yekas when it comes to yaitzras. <laughs> It's, um, it's kind of funny. So, you know, it's, you know, if you're, you're, uh, it, it should, <laughs> so, again, so, I, you know, I mean, me personally, I, it's kind of, you know, that was the, that was the thing the other, two weeks ago, Parsha Shkolem, they wanted the Ashkenaz menu. And then I said, so for Ashkenaz, we're going to say Yitzchus. I said, no, we're not Yekas. We're just regular Ashkenaz. But this little regular, you know, like, like that's the story that this Bacher told me. He said that um, uh, someone said to Rabbi Yitzchak Levovich, you know, Bavinz Ashkenazim Zukmanish Kan Yitzchus. And Rabbi Yitzchak said, no, other Abba, by my took many yotzers. The same thing I remember was this, you know before Shabbos and Gadol and, and Roshiva and Rababa, Rababa Branschmigel at Lander College, so for Shlema. Rababa said, uh, he, you know, he was talking about Shabbos and Gadol, and he said, you know, who here says yotzers? I'm the only one that raised my hand. And he said, and he came from Gera Hasidim, so but in the Gera Hasidim don't say yotzers. So, so he said, I guess everybody here is Hasidish except for Yitzchak, and I'm the one with the reckle and the bent up hat, you know. This is the only one, I guess. So, it's a funny world we're living in. So, uh, I, and then I remember, you know, uh, the shul I would daven at, where they said Yitzchus, right near Lander College, the shul, Galanta shul, and uh, Galanta's Adam is up there, uh, Penech Sabitsky, uh, uh, a tremendous, tremendous genius, Penech, I'm a big, big fan of his, and, uh, and Rabbi Savitsky, you know, he would say all the Yitzras, and he said, you know, this is the traditional Ashkenaz, to say Yitzras, and, you know, he didn't like that the, the Polish Eden, they would, they would, uh, 
they would you know they would be talking and stuff during the interviews at the synagogue. And the funny thing is, is like the um, I guess I don't know if he changed the minute because I was so schwer. He's a Polish rabbi and he was stumma. Said, said uh, didn't say he was you know, a spotter, you know, I don't know. So, very biased. But, you know, that's, that's, that's just, uh, I like to say everything. I like to say Yoytris, I like to say Yom Kippur Katan, I like to, you know, Tikkun Shoivavim. I haven't done that in a few years. I think, I think last year I said the uh, name of Rishash one time. This year I didn't make it. Uh, and we had two extra weeks to show him Tad, and I still didn't say the name of Agadol from the Rishash. But, uh, so, as Chatoi and Imazke, I am, I need to, you know, I need to. Uh, but it's, it's, it's great to say all these extra things, they're beautiful. And it's interesting what I saw. I think I saw from the Chavos You know, I, I, what I was, I, I, you know, everyone was saying, you know, Tov Ma'ad B'Kavanei Mehar B'Blei Kavanei. Right? Shulchan Aruch says like that. It's better to say a little bit and concentrate than to say a lot and, and with no concentration. But, uh, but I would always say a lot with, with no Kavana is better than a little with no Kavana. And they said, no, it's not mashma like that. And I think the Chavis Yorah said that. You know, it's like I'm a Chavin to the things he writes there. Same thing, like he, he says, you know, you're kind of Mitzvah Talmud Torah. Like Rabbi Nachman says, you know, with even ter- everyone agrees that Tersh of Aksav, you're kind of Mitzvah, just Al Yidei Kriya and Pulei Havlan. But the, the famous Machlai is essentially between the Balatanya and, and Rabbi Nachman Breslover is what it would seem. You know, is that you have to have Havana even, you know, if, if it's Tarsh of you know, it's, it's in the Hilchas Talmud Torah by, by the, by the Baal Tanya, by the Shulchan Harav. But the, uh, the Chavis Yor, the Mekar Chaim says, well, you know, it's your, you, you Mekayim Mitzvah Talmud Torah. Of course, it's more Mahoder, you have Havana, you know, you have, you have Havana. But, uh, but he says, no, you, you Mekayim Mitzvah. So, Baruch Shukavanti, you know, it's, 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 it's really a safer after my own heart. It's just, I, I feel so, such a strong Kesher to the safer. It's just so beautiful. And I have to make more, I have to devote more time to sit down and learn it because it is, it, 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 it's something that, I mean, I should really translate it into English, really. That's what I should really work on. That's it's the Zayda. It's it's you know if I want to call myself Kablenzer Roof, you know, so, uh, didn't melt fully yet. Not, nowhere to Teufelzich yet. Okay, maybe maybe by, by maybe by Purim we'll be able to Teufel the lake. You know, Baruch Hashem, I was able to go to Mikvah today. I was like, how am I going to make time? to go to a hospital visit. I got things to do here, and then they called me and said, can you please make a hospital visit today? I was like, absolutely. I'm itching to go make a hospital visit today, because then I, on my lunch break, I can have a mikvah. And for Hashem, kachava. So, uh, so I, I'm home. It's five, 5.23 or so. It's not too late. I can daven early so I don't have to make kiddush during my, my daven, you know, and not wait till, you know, I can make kiddush before 7 o'clock. I wanted to daven mincha already. I usually do that, but I just I didn't have the time to do it. Um, I definitely want to send my condolences to the Muslim community in, in, um, in, Zealand, Christchurch, New Zealand. There's a big Jewish community in Christchurch also. There's like the Young Israel of Christchurch and the Agudas Israel of Christchurch, you know, like it's kind of, um, nobody's here, right? No, of course not. It's Parsha so. Uh, but they're here. That's interesting. Um, so. Oh, who's, 
who's blocking my way that I can't park in my own parking spot now? Bubby, what are you doing to me? Teach your children well. And it was interesting, today I, I, I spoke to my imam, who works for me, who I supervise, and I, I told because I told my supervisors, before Juma today, I want to give a message on behalf of the institution to the Muslim community, to extend my condolence, such a horrible event, and then, um, and then, uh, and the imam said, that's a great idea, and then, and then, but then he asked the guys, and they're like, no. Um, so that's, uh, that's what's going on here, which is sad, but, all right, love you guys, thank you for watching, God bless, please like, share, and subscribe, comment, we'll see you all later, happy Shabbos.